I am here in the Amber Museum in Nuremberg and would like to show you how you can recognize natural amber. My first attempt is that I take an amber and rub it on a woolen cloth or jacket. You have seen here that it can hold scraps of paper. This means that the amber has a positive electrostatic charge and is therefore able to absorb shredded paper. Another test is the so-called burn test. I have a lighter here and I am burning an amber. When I smell it, it smells like resin. Very strong. I have an amber here in a bowl of water. With water that does not contain salt. I put the amber in. The amber goes under. The reason can be seen in the specific weight of the amber. This is 1.08 grams per cubic centimeter to 1.10 grams per cubic centimeter. The normal water has 1.0 grams per cubic centimeter. Here I have prepared a second bowl with salt water and put in enough salt until the amber floats. I put the amber in and you can see it goes up. You can see that the amber even goes round, like in a carousel. In conclusion, I would like to say something about the authenticity of amber. The amber can of course be rubbed and straighten the resin odor. You can also heat the amber, then the resin odor is also free. It is recommended that one has to deal intensively with amber in order to recognize the difference between natural amber and imitation amber, which looks like amber but is synthetic resin. I would also like to point out that in our museum you can see everything that can be said about the authenticity of amber. I would be happy if you visit us.